So we may want in our application different pages to use. So we're going to jump into that today. But what are we working on here? This is a multi-series, uh, multiple steps. We're on step seven right now, how to add a new page and a button to my Power App application. And it started from us just taking a simple SharePoint list and turning it into a Power App and view the other videos on the little details of kind of how we get there. So this video, we're going to focus on how to add a new page and a button. So let's get started. So the easiest way to do this is to just simply go here where we're, we're right here, new screen, and we're just, we can add any type of screen that we want. Let's just add a scrollable screen at this point. So we're just going to say add a scrollable screen. And now it comes in a little bit bigger. So don't be afraid of that. I'm just using my control key and spinning it down. You can use the, the key right there, but we're going to just put here, we're just going to put in here second page. Now notice it, whoops, notice it here. It's up in the menu bar too. So I can, I can add and change things there as well. Okay. So here, I'm just going to take that card off right now um, because I'm just going to add some text. Okay. So let's just add some simple text to this page and a button. But how do we know we're there? Well, look down here at the bottom. You see where it says screen two, right? And a welcome screen. Here are my other screens. They're all different pages. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So let's change this name first of all, right here. Click on here, whoops, wrong button. Click on, <laughs> keep hitting the wrong thing. On the pencil right there. And we can say um, second page. Okay, so we're just going to rename it right there. Easy enough, right? And then we're going to go over here to the welcome page. Now let's see if we can transfer. We really like, let's say I created something custom there. I really like that. Can I transfer that to my second page? I sure can. See it right there? All right, pretty cool, huh? So you can do all of those things, right? You So you've set this thing up so you can do things. This is a little thing that they have there at a section. I, I usually get rid of it, but here's the second page. Pretty neat, right? So let's go back here to our welcome page. Now let's create a button and go back to this page. So we'll go to the second page and we're just going to click on here where it says button. All right. And it gives us a button and we're just going to type in here, right? Welcome page. Okay. So that's where we want to go. We want to go over to the welcome page. From the second page now let's go back there and here we're just going to type in second page so we can create a whole menu system if we want notice this is a scrollable page here so i can do pretty much anything i want remember i'm in a phone app figure configuration but i could be in a full screen application as well so this makes for a very nice interface but let's look at this here and see what we have here for a command so here we have the navigate command. I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to go over to my second page. I'm just going to add it right here. I'm in advanced under on select. I'm going to do that and go like that. Now I'm just going to change this browse screen here to the next screen, whatever it is, right? Which is welcome screen. So that's where I want to transition to, which is, let's just go ahead and delete that. Now, as you're typing it native, see how it just, it'll kind of come up for you here, right there, welcome screen. And we're gonna use the screen transition cover. There are multiple screen transitions. We're not gonna play with all of them right now, but um, we're gonna just leave that way it is. And then here we're gonna go to, we're at the second page, we're gonna go to the welcome page. Now let's go to the welcome page and do that one more time. We're gonna, whoops, we're gonna delete this. Okay, and we're gonna go to the second page. Oop. There it is right there. Notice also it's in a small quotation mark there. Um, that's what we want as well. So we have that second page, and then on the second page, we'll go back to the welcome screen. So let's see if this all works. So we just hit play. We're on our second page right now. Let's go to the welcome page. Welcome to my application, it works. Go to my second page. It works. Now we can't, so we can just keep doing that, right? And we can create exits. There's lots of other options that you can put in. Just look up the navigate um, 
uh, feature and, and there's, they give you lots of text. You can also Google how to add different actions, right? And what they call here, um, actions on on select actions. So you can take a look at all of those. There's lots of things out there. And now, of course, we're not navigating back to this original screen that we're working on here, but you see, you get the idea. That's how you create a button in any one of your screens. Hit play again and you can test it. Works great.